All right, guys, so in the last episode, we installed this fireplace mantelpiece because in today's episode, we have the fireplace right here. This Excited. is going to get unboxed and we're going to set it up today. Now, Ash, you might be thinking, why aren't we putting a fireplace in Queensland? Well, because it does actually get cold. It gets really cold in the winter. And rather than turning on our massive air conditioning unit to heat up the house, we figured, well, you know, we only really spend much time in this room. So let's just heat up this room alone. And my answer is that you can actually run it without any heating. It just has cool LED lighting. Yeah, yeah it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So inside the box, you'll find another box. Box in a box. Ooh wee. So it's well packaged, as you can see, lots of foam. Hopefully the glass isn't smashed. So this is hilarious. It's just like a screen with some fake logs. <laughs> and there's gonna be some lighting. <laughs> oh, hopefully it'll look good. That's what I care about. This is a slightly more expensive version. It's gonna have realistic effects. <laughs> it's got fake brick in the back. <laughs> so I'm guessing all you do is just slide it in and Plug it in and slide it in. Is it really that easy? You literally just put it in and you switch it on. Okay, let's do it. Is it heavy? I want to know. Let's find out. All right. That is what I want to know. No, it's pretty light. Very, okay. very easy to move. I get, and you've got two flaps here. So there's a flap oh. here, flap here like that. Oh, so you, you can have one side. Of course. But not yet. I'm going to plug it in first. Okay. Oh, look Make at sure that. that it works. You get a long cable. The cable's going to be hidden away. So we got, luckily, we got a, so we got a little PowerPoint right here. Boom. Oh, is that going to fit actually? Or is that too. We're going to find out, see if it fits. It's going to be an interesting challenge. And I'll just plug it in. Now, ideally, you get a ruler and you measure. I don't think it's going to fit. I'm putting it in. So we've made it that far. What we're going to have to do is actually get that PowerPoint moved slightly over to the left because it's directly behind it. But it looks nice as it is. It does. And it's technically turned on. Shall and you have the remote. I do. Can we try it? Oh my goodness. It even looks nice with that little buffer out. It does look nice. But I will move that PowerPoint so I'll make it nice and flush. All and right. How's it look like with this? The good thing about it is it does cover up this little section here, this panel here. So I can screw that panel in. That's going to be perfect. And it will just slot in. So this is the uh, back, This is the remote control. It's got a power. It's got a flame. It's got crackling so you can do noises as well. It's got a low and a high. And it does come with batteries. All you have to do is just pull this out and we are ready to go. I want to see. Can it actually work without any heating? Will it just work with flames? And should we have a go? Should we turn it on? Yeah. Maybe there's an on button here. There you go. Turn this on button there. It's not as dramatic. <laughs> that is so cute. Can I do something? Oh my God, that is awesome. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Let me just try out the functions. Okay, so we're gonna do the flame, press that button. That is so much fun. You can control the amount of light and even the crackling sounds that come out. Hilarious. Now regarding usage, you get low, high, and uh, you don't even need to have the heating on. You can just have it running. According to power usage, if you just have the light show on its own, it's under 100 watts. I couldn't see exactly how much on the Tesla app. But when you have it to high mode, it uses just under 2 kilowatts. And in low mode, it uses about 1 kilowatt. So that is pretty cool that you can run it, especially without anything going. And it also has a dial, so you can dial how hot it should get to. It's not a temperature guide. It's just uh, you feel it. And you say, oh, is that the right temperature? And you just constantly gauge and try to figure out if it's the right temperature for you. And then once you're happy with that heating amount, it will just turn off on that amount. So just depending on how much you increase the dial for. So yeah, pretty good. According to the power usage, pretty good. I like it. You also get these little tabs. You can screw it onto the wall to make sure it doesn't fall on you. Probably very essential, especially if you, had, you have kids playing around with it. If you haven't noticed, I am dubbing this portion of the show because the microphones ran out of juice, but we were so excited with this uh, fireplace. We were just well excited. We just had to tell the world what was going on. 
And as you can see, we are very happy. Nora looks is ecstatic. Look, she's cold right now, but she's gonna get warm and cozy thanks to that fireplace. So not only does it look beautiful, very, very easy install, warms you right up. The only thing we need to do is just move that PowerPoint. But overall, let us know what fireplace you guys are using. I love this fireplace. And uh, it's, I think it's better than one you get at Costco, actually. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show.